opening statement is it feels good to win. Um, especially after that really, really tough loss a couple nights ago at Detroit. You know, and when you're going through a stretch with young kids and you've lost X amount of games in a row and then you lose one with four seconds on the clock, one of two things can happen. It, it can really spiral out of control or you can bounce back. And I was really proud of our kids there in that first half with the, especially in that first quarter, the energy and the enthusiasm that they had and set the tone right away. Um, did we do everything right? Not at all. We got a lot of things we have to work on, but they played hard. They really wanted to, to end what happened, you know, out on that road trip. And at the end of the day, a win is a win. And, and now we can, now we can move on. Freshman, you know, just getting better. Um, DeJore is still trying to figure out how good she can be. You know, there's times, and I'm sure you guys see it, where she attacks the rim and doesn't know whether she should shoot it or not. You know, or the ball's passer or the wing, should I shoot this or should I give it to an upperclassman? She's still trying to figure all that out. But there's no doubting the fact that the kid can play. When I look down here and I see in 19 minutes, nine points and eight rebounds, you know, that's, that's pretty impressive. Um, and she's just going to get better and better. Um, you know, and then obviously Josie out there as a freshman going to get better and better, and Peyton out there as a freshman going to get better and better. So um, I'm proud of I'm proud of Jor, but I'm proud of all our freshmen for the progress that they've made through the first 10 games. Well, yeah, I mean you can say it. It, it was ugly. Um, it was ugly because we're still guys. We're still having a tough time shooting the basketball, and, and I'm not quite sure why um, but our kids are in the gym and they're working on it we're just having a tough time shooting the basketball now some of that is this is the first team we've played all year that has sat in a zone and it is different than going against man-to-man -man all the time so you know we're, we're working on our zone offense number two we had freshmen out there trying to finish a game off and we haven't had the lead in a long time and you guys know there's an art to closing teams out. You know, so we're there late in the third quarter. We had a chance. We had a break. And we ran somebody over and, and turned it over Next, from a freshman. And then we come down the next time and we try a behind-the-back pass and turn it over. And that's a freshman. So those are learning pieces for them. Um, it was ugly down the stretch, but I'd never faulted their effort because of the defensive end they were still working so the beauty of us turning the ball over not making shots at least we were stopping them well it, it's an emphasis for us and i'm uh, and i feel like i use proud a lot but but you guys got to understand when you spend as much time as i do with with a group of people they 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 do end up being family and we had we had some serious meetings when you lose six games you have some serious meetings and they responded. You know, we said we weren't playing hard enough. We weren't getting enough offensive rebounds. And I see we had 18 today. You know, that, that's all effort. Um, you know, 46 to 33 is, is a really, really good number for us. So I've always believed that, I mean, unless you've got seven foot in the middle, rebounding is about effort. So to look across and see everybody except one person with a rebound, that tells me that everybody was playing, you know, really, really hard, both offensively and defensively.